Would you like to explore the distinctive neighborhoods of Palm Springs? If you're thinking of moving to Palm Springs and you're curious about the different neighborhoods and what they have to offer, then stay tuned. It's time to explore. There are so many reasons why people choose to move to Palm Springs, whether it be full time or even a second home to enjoy what Palm Springs has to offer. There are so many reasons people flock here to our beautiful desert. There's always something to do. We are so fortunate to have cultural amenities, hiking, world-class golf, great entertainment, and some wonderful shops and restaurants, just to name a few. Hi, I'm Kim Block, a local realtor here in the Greater Palm Springs area. I love to help buyers and sellers navigate through our market and would love to help you. Let me share some neighborhoods with you and what each has to offer. Here's a map so you can see where these neighborhoods are to get a better idea. Let's start with Asenia. Asenia is one of Palm Springs' newest neighborhoods. It is 450 acres that is a master plan community. It includes a wonderful 18-hole golf course and clubhouse. Asenia has some architectural uniqueness and stunning views of the San Jacinto Mountains and it makes for a very nice place to live. Now let's head on over to Demuth Park, which is right here on our map. Demuth Park holds the city's largest public park with 61 acres of greenbelt and a community center. Interesting fact that this was the first neighborhood after World War II to offer much needed post-war housing. The housing here offers more architecture that is more of a ranch style. There's a mix of businesses and residential. This is Tuckwitz Creek neighborhood. This neighborhood has single family homes and condos that are in and around the Tuckwitz Creek Golf Resort. This neighborhood is adjacent to the scenic Tuckwitz Creek Wash and has 900 homes with several different architectural styles. Next to Tuckwitz Creek is Seven Lakes. Seven Lakes is located in the Melody Ranch neighborhood of Palm Springs. This is where you can find green vistas, low-density, spacious, mid-century designed homes, and some challenging golf. There are spacious grounds with 15 pools and spas near each home that make it very convenient. Next on our map is Araby Cove and Araby Commons. Araby Cove neighborhood is located in southeast Palm Springs. I love Araby Cove for its uniqueness. It's often called the Bohemian neighborhood. There are 81 eclectic homes, and because of the hill, many of these homes have amazing views of Palm Springs and the surrounding mountains. Some of the homes remind you of cabin-like homes and date back to the 1920s. Others range from more modern homes to ranch style. Araby Commons neighborhood is near South Ridge, where you can see Bob Hope's large estate sitting on the mountainside. It includes mid-century modern condo communities, Imperial Park South, Coco Caban, Marbella, and Sandcliffe. Over here is Los Compadres neighborhood, named for the Los Compadres Club and Stables. This neighborhood has a nice mix of architecture, from mid-century homes and Spanish-style homes. Most have beautiful views of the San Jacinto Mountain. And over here is Little Beverly Hills. The Little Beverly Hills neighborhood has 84 detached homes and two apartment complexes. The detached homes were built by either the Alexander Company or competing mid-century developer, Jack Meiselman. Legend has it that Bob Alexander named the streets after the things that he enjoyed, including his Beverly Hills home. Many of the streets are the same as its famous counterpart. And right over here is a Sunrise Park neighborhood. It's centrally located and less than one mile to downtown Palm Springs. This is a very quiet residential area that boasts mid-century modern homes that include several post-World War II tract houses developed and designed by very innovative and influential names of the era. Sunrise Park is also home to the Camelot Theater where many of the city's festivals are held. Right over here, we have Desert Park Estates. Noelle Clark opened the ranch club on this track of land in the late 1950s, which sat on a thousand acres. He hired Hugh Captour to develop part of the land and to draw up some home designs. Hugh designed half a dozen models, all low sear homes with gently sloped roofs featuring one of my favorites, post and beam construction. Many of these homes were built between 1959 and 1965. Today there is a mix of styles including Spanish Revival, Mediterranean, Modern Contemporary, and Ranch. One of the most recognized resorts in this area is the Monkey Tree. Over here is the Racket Club Estates. This neighborhood is known for its style. Featuring post and beam construction, celestial windows, soaring roof lines, open floor plans, and blurred lines to separate the outdoors from the inn. 
William Kreisel, Jack Meiselman, and Donald Wexler pioneered the strikingly original steel homes that introduced prefabricated steel and glass construction of affordable housing that was created for the desert and seen plentiful in this neighborhood. Racket Club West is also known for their large lots and a range of architectural style and luxury condos. Many of these homes were designed by renowned mid-century architects. This neighborhood also has the famous racket club where many Hollywood stars came to play tennis and relax in the pool. Over here, we have the Movie Colony and Movie Colony East. In the mid-1920s, Palm Springs transformed from a health resort destination to a residential community. This was about the time Hollywood discovered how close the proximity was to Los Angeles, and they loved the anything goes atmosphere, made it a perfect place to unwind. Some of the notable residents were Marilyn Monroe, Cary Grant, and Gloria Swanson. You can find a mix of revival, Spanish revival, and mid-century modern properties. The movie colony is as unique as its amazing history. Movie Colony East neighborhood is filled with Hollywood history. This is a mid-century paradise that is filled with great homes by famous architects like Donald Wexler, Albert Frey, and E. Stuart William. Bob Hope and Frank Sinatra had homes here. And this is Warm Sands neighborhood. This lovely little neighborhood is among the most historic and diverse neighborhoods in all of Palm Springs. This charming neighborhood is about a half square mile and contains historic Spanish-style homes from the 1920s and 30s, along with mid-century modern homes from the 50s and 60s, as well as many historical hotels and resorts with huge historical significance. Right here, we have the Deepwell Estates neighborhood. Deepwell got its name from Henry Pearson, who purchased the plot of land in 1926. He needed more water to keep his investment thriving, so he drilled until he hit 630 feet below the surface. It was the deepest well in the Coachella Valley, and so he named his property Deep Well. He built a ranch home that became a guest home. The land was sold in the 1950s and was subdivided. There is a large concentration of mid-century homes built by some famous architects. This is the neighborhood of Indian Canyons, originally built in the 1960s. Indian Canyons primarily is filled with mid-century custom homes designed by architects Dan Palmer, William Kreisel, and others. This neighborhood is protected from some of the desert winds we get and the full intensity of summer because it lies near the entrance of a cove. Right here is the Takwitz River Estate. This neighborhood was first fashioned to build small Spanish revival homes in the early 1930s. Now, the neighborhood has expanded to incorporate many modernistic homes, quirky motor coaches, hotels by noted architects, and Albert Frey Design Church. Right here, we have the neighborhood of Old Las Palmas. There are approximately 290 detached homes at the base of Mount San Jacinto. This is another one of my favorite neighborhoods. You will find just about every period of Palm Springs development here, like postmodern construction, Spanish, Western, mid-century, and contemporary. Old Las Palmas has had some notable residents such as Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz, Judy Garland, Kirk Douglas, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Here is Vista La Palmas, which is a stunning neighborhood of iconic mid-century homes. Hollywood celebrities discovered the neighborhood early in the last century and around the same time that residential air conditioning was making its debut. Entertainers and performers still own homes here today. Now watch this next video, what you must know about owning a short-term vacation rental in the Palm Springs area.